Today we're going to show you how to build a biohazardous waste box. Tim is going to show you all the materials you'll need. You'll need 2 inch clear packaging tape, labels, a red biohazard bag, a Steri Cycle Medical Waste Box. All of these materials are supplied to you free of charge through the university. Just contact DEHS or custodial services. The first step in assembling the box is to fold down the bottom flaps so that the DOT specification mark is visible. The second step is to tape the middle seam with at least two pieces of two inch clear packaging tape. Then tape the outer seams. These specifications are required by the Department of Transportation. Next, turn the box upright and line it with a red biohazardous waste bag. When you're ready to begin using the box, make sure you set it in a convenient location to collect biohazardous waste in your laboratory. When the box is close to full, gather the top of the red bag. Avoid shaking the bag to prevent aerosolization of potentially infectious materials. Next, twist the bag and tie an overhand knot. Why do people do these knots? This is the most secure type of knot and is required by our waste vendor. Leaking boxes are problematic during downstream processing, which often happens if the edges have been tied together. Fold the top flaps down and tape the box shut with 2 inch clear packaging tape. Most waste boxes will need a white barcode label, but for human tissues, animal carcasses, trace chemotherapeutics, or BSL-3 laboratories, you will need a yellow label to ensure the waste is incinerated. Once it's labeled, write your building name and lab number and a contact name and phone number. Then place the box in a convenient location and custodial services will pick it up. If you work on the HSC campus and custodial services needs to enter your lab to pick up a waste box, be sure to mark your door with a red hang tag. If you have any questions, please contact DEHS at, hey, what is our phone number? Y'all come, come back, back now. now.